particular group is researching uh, techniques to perform motion compensation for being heart surgeries. In order to avoid uh, stopping the heart, the surgeon can perform the surgical act through small holes on the patient's thorax. So through these uh, small incisions in the patient's body, the surgeon defines a region of injury. We are able to estimate its motion in 3D. The robot tracks this motion and moves synchronously with the beating heart motion so that the surgeon can perform his gesture as if he was operating in a virtually stable environment. The problem here is actually the volume of data that you have to, to treat. The heart moves at very high speed, so therefore you actually have to visualize the heart motion at a very high speed. In order to do that, we have to acquire images at a much higher frame rate that demands a lot of computational power. Until very recently, uh, we didn't have the computational power to process these images as they come. It was only with the GPU that uh, this became possible because before the computational power was too expensive or it was simply impossible to perform the algorithms that were needed in order to achieve this. What actually motivates us to, uh, to keep working towards this, uh, such a system is uh, the possibility of expanding motion compensation for beating heart surgery to enable surgeons to perform even more complicated procedures or procedures that today are not possible. We're actually hoping to uh, do something that is going to change medicine, so that's going to provide surgeons with uh, more possibilities. Well, 